sharing with us? Where is your character? <laughs> My dear Lord, it is not fit for you. Every day I accept such nice prasad, but this prasad is the most sweet that I have ever tasted. Not enough thus. Come. I have something that I would like to give you. Take this Govardhan Shiva and Gunjamala. This is the Vigraha of Krishna. It is non different. You will need a pot of water and some Tulsi Manjaris to worship this Vigraha. Every day you should take eight soft Tosi Manjaris with two leaves, one on each side. With great love and devotion, you should worship this Vigraha. <coughs> if you do this every day, without fail, Krishna Prema Dawn will be yours without delay. This Govardhan Shila was given to my Mahaprabhu by Shankarananda Sarasvati. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would sometimes hold it upon his eyes, sometimes upon his heart, and he would chant Harinam. Sometimes he would take it upon his head. And this Govardhan Shila is never dry because it is always moistened by the tears of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. By giving me this Govardhan Shila, I can understand that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has given me a place at Giraj Govardhan. And by giving me this Kunjamala, I can understand that he has offered me in the service of Srimati Radhika. Thanks to Radhika, he became even more absorbed in bhajan with his most intense feelings of love and separation. He would sit all day in the blazing sun, tasting the cool nectar of Harinam. He was oblivious to the external world. One day, while he was absorbed in chanting his Harinam, Sanatana Goswami came to Radha Kun. Oh brothers, behold the sight of Radha Das Goswami. On my order, he has taken up residence on this lake, which is most dear to Srimati Radhika. Now he has practically stopped eating and sleep, sleeping. In the matter of, as a matter of regulation, he offers 1,000 Dandavak Pranam to Sri Sri Radha, Krishna, all their associates, and all the places of their pastimes. Nandagaon, Terakadamba, Prem Sarova, Pavan Sarova, Kiri Jai! Varsanadham, 
Morkuti, Uchigan, Saki Giri Pavat, Ki Jai! Vrindavan Dham, Seva Kunj, Mangali Dangali Seva Gali, Niduvan, Bangsi Bat Keshi Gat Deer Samir Ki Jai! Giraj Govardhan, Kushum Sarova, Shamakund Radha Kund Ki Jai! Hey Nanda Baba, Yashoda Maya, Dauji, please be merciful to me. Yashoda Maya Ki Jai! Hey Vrishabana Baba, Kirti Maya, Shida Maya, be merciful to me. Vishabhana Baba Ki Jai! Lalita Vishaka Chitra Champakalata Indu Laika Tungka Vidya Sudevi Ranga Devi Hosta Saki Vrinda Ki Jai! Hey Shama Sundar Shikhanda Shekha Vishabhana Nandini Shmata Radharani Ki Jai! He also offers 2,000 pranams to all his gurus and the Vaishnavas. Each day he bathes three times in Radhakund and discusses the pastime to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu for three hours. In addition to this, he never chants less than one leg of Harinam. In this way, he does bhajan 22 and a half hours each day and sleeps one and a half hours, or sometimes not sleeping at all. Oh, who is this Kishori just now approaching? She appears, she appears more beautiful than Lakshmi Devi herself. Shimati Radhika sheltered Raghunath Das Goswami from the heat of the sun, while she herself became drenched in perspiration and performing this austerity for her dear most devotee. When the sun's heat died down, she smiled gently and then disappeared. Raghunath Das, what kind of bhajan are you doing? What is your intent, intention? To serve Shimati Radhika or accept service from her? What do you mean? Previously, Sri Krishna protected you from two tigers. At that time, I told you to make a bhajan kutir. Yes. Now that you have not followed this advice, Srimati Radharani has come to protect you from the blazing heat of the sun. Oh, Prabhu! Oh! I am so sinful! I am so wicked! Srimati Radhika came here and I did not even see her! I am so sorry. I will try to follow your instructions. I will not follow this wicked, foolish mind of mine. Make a bhajan put here and continue your bhajan peacefully. <laughs> oh. The mind is so tricky. Oh, mind. You are like my brother. So, I am falling at your feet. And I am begging you with very sweet words. Oh mind, immediately give up all false egos. And develop this very sublime and incessant rati at the lotus feet of your Guru Dev. You should have deep love for this Vrindavan Dham. And for all of the bridge basses, like Rupa and Sanatan, 
and for Radha Krishna, Lalita Vishaka, and all bridge basses. Not only that, O oh mind, you should give honor to all Vaishnavas in any Sampradaya. And more than that, even you should give honor and respect to the Brahmanas who live here in the Dham. Oh mind, every day you should chant the Diksha Mantras given by your Gurudev very, very patiently and with great and deep faith. And one should chant the holy name of the Lord with affection. O oh mind, develop a very deep attachment for the shelter of Kishore Kishori here in Braj. Mind, you keep going into Dharma and Adharma, but you should not do this. Don't pay any attention to Dharma and Adharma, as prescribed in the Vedas. But instead, O oh mind, just render profuse loving service to Sri Sri Radha Krishna here in Braj. And you should also remember something. What is that? That Satinandan Gaura Hari, the son of Srimachi Sachi Devi, is the son of Nanda Baba. He is Krishna himself, who has appeared with the golden complexion and sentiments of Srimati Radhika. And mind, always remember that your Gurudev is very, very dear and intimate associate of Radha and Mukunda. Oh mind, if at all you are eager to attain the direct service of Radha and Krishna in Braj, on the level of the Ragatmik devotees, then life after life after life, you should very distinctly remember and bow down at the lotus feet of Sri Swarup Damodha, at the lotus feet of Srila Rupa Goswami Pad, at the lotus feet of his elder brother, Srila Sanatan Goswami, and all of the associates of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who are the recipients of his mercy. Oh mind, you should abandon entirely the prostitute of contemptible mundane talks. And also, you should kick all conversations regarding mukti. Mukti liberation is like a tiger who devours your very soul. So leave this thing far, far away. And mind, even you should give up all attachment for Lakshmi Pati Narayan, the Lord of Vaikuntha. Because if you are attached to him, you will have to go to Vaikuntha, cannot go to Branch. So mind, just engage in the exclusive service of C.C. Radha and Krishna. Oh mind, I was walking along the open road of life, when six backwards jumped out and bound my neck with ropes. Oh, who were they? Lust, anger, greed. Envy, pride, bewilderment, madness, these dacoids take me by the throat and they have dragged me into so many, so many sinful activities. What can I do? What can I do? Oh mind, you should call out to the great devotees. Hey Rupa Goswami, hey Swarup Damada, save me! And surely they will come and they will save you. Oh mind, you like to think that you've become so purified by all of your hearing and chanting. But why are you bathing in the trickling urine of the donkey of full-blown deceit and hypocrisy? This is only deceit and hypocrisy. I have become so purified. No, no, no. If you bathe in this urine, then you're burning me and you're also burning. So instead, why don't we both just take a bath in the nectarian pastimes of C.C. Radha and Krishna? And then you'll be happy and I will be happy too. Oh mind, I want to get praying. But this praying will not touch me. It will not come near me, no, no, no. Why? Because the very vicious, dog-eating, outcast woman of the desire for pratishta, prestige, is dancing there in my heart. How will Prem come there? It will never come. 
So mind, you should do something. You should constantly engage in the service of the great devotees, who are like the generals in the army of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. They are so powerful. You cannot remove this desire for Pratishta from your own heart. It is not possible. But the great devotees of Mahaprabhu, they are so powerful. If we serve them and love them, they will quickly come in our hearts, they will grab that woman and throw her out quickly and initiate the flow of immaculate Braja Prem within our hearts. Oh mind, you should, with very humble and grief-stricken words, pray to Krishna in this way. Hey Giridhari! Hey Giridhari! I know I am wicked. I know I am so duplicious. But please, you overlook this thing. And give me that Ujwala Prema Ras in my heart. And please, inspire me in the service of Shimati Radhika. <clears throat> oh mind, I have no direct relationship with Krishna. No, no. My relationship is with Srimati Radhika. She is my Swamini. And who is Krishna? He is the beloved of my Swamini, Srimati Radhika. And Lalita Saki, she is the peerless friend of Srimati Radhika. And Vishaka, she is like my guru in all the affairs of conjugal seva. And mind, always remember that Giriraj Govardhan and Sri Radha Kund are those who can bestow darshan of Sri Sri Radha and Krishna. Do you know the glories of my Shimati Radhika? Do you know? <laughs> oh, my Shimati Radhika. She is so beautiful that Rati, the wife of Kamadev, Gauri, the consort of Lord Shiva, and Lila, the Shakti of Narayan, they are all burnt by the rays of her effulgent beauty. Oh, Radhika is so beautiful. And Sachi, the light wife of Lord Indra. And Lakshmi, the goddess of fortune. And Satyabhama, one of Krishna's principal queens in Dwarka. Oh, they are completely vanquished by the good fortune of my Shimati Radhika. <coughs> and even the pride of all of the chaste damsels of Braj, headed by Chandravali, hmm, is completely diminished by my Shumati Radhika. Why? Because she has such power, she can control Krishna completely. Hey, Radhe. Oh, mind. If at all, you want to follow in the footsteps of Rupa Goswami, and you want to attain the direct service of Radha and Krishna, who are always enchanted and bewildered by each other's love, then every day you should drink one nectar drink, Panchamritam, one nectar drink. Inside there are five ingredients. Tadi jakya dhyana sravana nati panchamritam idam. Ija, every day. You should do Ija. Worship the deity. Take Tilak. Wear Kantimala. Worship Tulsi. You should try to observe Akadasi and all the holy days. And do Prakrama. Ija and Akya. The second ingredient you should add to this. What is that? You should read the Bhakti Shastra and describe the glories of Vrindavan, Dham, and Radha and Krishna and the supernatural and transcendental love, how it is so sweet. Tari Jakya Dhyana. And you should meditate. You should remember, chanting Hari Nam, being absorbed, being in trance, and realizing something. And nothing. Every day, pay obeisances again and again to Radha and Krishna, all of their associates, to Vrindavan Dham, to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and all of his associates. <coughs> By drinking this nectar every day, then surely 
one can attain the transcendental prem, Braja prem. And also remember that one should worship Giriraj Govardhan every day according to the precepts given by Srila Rupa Goswami Pad. Oh mind, if anyone remembers these 11 instructions and sings them loudly and joyfully, understanding their meanings, taking shelter of Gokul, then it is certain that they can attain the most precious jewel of bhajan to Sri Sri Radha and Krishna. It is sure. Sri Rupa Manjari Karachita Pada Padma Kostendanam Nabhujapita Mastakaya Hamodatakanatu Gori Padara Vinda Sambahana Nishanakaya Stava Kim Karasin When will that day come to me? Radha and Krishna are playing together and now they have become Somewhat tired. Radhika is resting with her head in the lap of Krishna Chandra and he is very lovingly caressing her hair. <coughs> At that time, Rupa Manjari is very gently massaging the lotus feet of Radhika. When will I be there watching this with very greedy eyes, eager to take the remnant of the service of Rupa Manjari? When will that day come? When Rupa Manjari will call me? Oh, Rati Manjari, come, come. And I will go there and massage the lotus feet of Srimati Radhika. And Rupa Manjari, she will take up a charm and begin to fan Srimati Radhika and Krishna so lovingly. When will that day come to me? In this way, Raghunath Das Goswami passed many years deeply absorbed in the service of Radha and Krishna within his mind, while externally following all the practices of an ordinary sadhaka. Raghunath Das Goswami is Rati Manjari, an eternally liberated associate of the divine couple. He appeared in this world out of his causeless mercy, just to show us by what method we can attain the ultimate goal of life, Radha Dasi. Divine service at the lotus feet of Shivati Radharani. In his final days, Raghunath Das Goswami, considering himself an abject failure, offered pitiful prayers like flowers at the lotus feet of Vishubhana Nandi. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Ram, Hare Ram. Atyut Katena Nitaram Garahana Lena Dandaya Marari Dayakila Kapidasi Haswami Nixana Mahaparayena Gadam Hakandanena Vidura Vila Pami Padde O Shimati Radhika I'm your maid servant But my heart is burning, burning again and again in the very virulent fire of separation from you. I have tried again and again, but I have always failed. So now, as a last resort, having no other hope, I have come here to the bank of your kund, Radha kund, at the foot of Giraj Govardhan. And I am lovingly supplicating your lotus feet with offerings of flowers in the form of my lamentations. I had so many hopes. But one by one, they have all vanished. All of the columns onto which I was grasping have disappeared one after another. And now I have become hopeless.
But if she see Radha and Krishna would just sprinkle on me just one drop, just one drop of the ocean of their frame, then all of my aspirations would be completely fulfilled. What to speak of bathing in that ocean? If only one drop would fall on my head or on any other limb of my body, then I would have received that sustainer of my life for which I left my home and family many, many years ago. In the days of my youth, I ran away from home and I went to the lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But then he left this world. At that time, I took shelter of my Prabhu, Swarup Damodar. But Swarup Damodar, he was so attached to the feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, quickly, quickly, he left, being unable to tolerate separation. Then I went to Gadadha Pandit. <laughs> but he left. <laughs> that time I wanted to die. I thought, hey Giraj, you are so kind, you are so kind. If I go there to Vrindavan, I can jump from the top of Govardhan and give up my life. So I went there to Govardhan. At that time, I met my Sanatan Goswami Pad. He persuaded me to stay. He said, you cannot give up your life. This body is not yours. It belongs to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. You cannot get praying simply by killing yourself. You have lived with Mahaprabhu in Puri for 18 years. And you have heard everything from Swarup Damodar. You should stay here and every day speak all the glories of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. In this way, he persuaded me to stay. Oh, Sanatan Prabhu, I have never, I have never seen a person so merciful as Sanatan Goswami. Without any self-gain, without wanting anything, he was causelessly merciful to me. He is an ocean of mercy. He cannot tolerate the sufferings of others. Very carefully, with great patience and perseverance, he forced me to drink the nectar of Bhakti Ras. By force. I didn't want it. But he forced me to drink that Bhakti Ras, which causes one to renounce this whole world. O oh, Sanatan Prabhu. But then, my Sanatan Goswami, he also left this world. At that time, my only shelter was Srila Rupa Goswami. Oh Rupa, he was so merciful to me. Even though I had taken Ketra Sanyas and made a vow that I would not leave Radha Kund. You would come to me. Again and again you would come to me. And you were so affectionate to me. You would come here and you had written such beautiful books. No one has seen books like you have written. Vidagra Madhav, Lalit Madhav, Dan Kali Comedy, Ujjwala Nilamani, Bhakti Sarvasamrita Sindhu. And you would say, Oh Raghunath Das, I have written something. Can you proofread it for me? Oh. How can I proofread the writing of Rupa Goswami? Every word is perfect. But in this way, he gave me his literatures. And I would read them. And reading them, and reading them, I would cry and cry and cry. All the pages would become wet. But I couldn't stop crying. Whatever I have not received from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and from my Sarsorup Damodar, I have received from my Rupa Goswami. But then, 
my Rupa Goswani left this world. Sanyayate Mahagostam Girindro Jagarayate Jagachundate Jeevachu Rohitas of Rupa Goswami Pad. When you were here, Vrindavan was so beautiful. Vrindavan inspired me so much. But now you have gone, O oh Rupa Goswami. The whole of Vrindavan is like a desert, empty, barren wasteland. I came to Giraj Govardhan. Giraj Govardhan was so kind to me. I would pray to him every day. Hey, Giraj Maharaj! Radha and Krishna are enjoying their beautiful pastimes secretly in your caves and kunjas. And you are seeing all of these things. How rasik you are! You are a king of rasiks. You have seen these things. So, by your mercy, can you let me also see them? Oh, Giraj Maharaj. Please give me your residence at your side. But now, now Rupa Goswami has left this world. When I look to Govardhan, then Govardhan appears like a python, about to eat me alive. <laughs> I took shelter of Radhakund. But now Rupa Goswami, now you have gone. Just seeing Radhakund. Radhakund. Appears like a tiger, about to devour me. Oh, Rupa Goswami, I can't live without you. Rupa! Rupa! Where are you? Who will take care of me? Who will speak Harry guitar to me? Who will be my guardian? Of hope. O oh, Shimati Radhika, I carried the burden of hope that I could one day serve your lotus feet, that I could one day have the darshan of your beautiful pastimes which are like an ocean of nectar. But now I cannot go on one more step. It is very difficult for me to maintain my life for even one more moment. Hey Radhe, O oh, Shimati Ji, Oh my Swamini, be merciful to me now! I cannot live on my What is the use of my residence in Brajdham? What is the use of my life? What is the use of my passion? If you tell me, oh, you, you can maintain your life by praying to Krishna. Then I say, I have no need of Krishna if you are not merciful to me. Tvaye Vasmi, Tvaye Vasmi, Raji Vahami Tvayabina, Tvikya Radhe Tvam Nayamantra. Oh, Shimati Radhika, I am yours, I am yours, I am yours only. I cannot live without you. So please be kind to me. And appoint me to the service of your lotus feet.
राधे राधे and the dramas, especially the teachings of Srila Rabhinath Das Goswami to mind and his process of doing bhajan will touch the all proud devotee's heart. You should take with you to your homes. You can return, you will have to return. But take this nectar, powerful nectar of Harikatha and all these things. And remember, 
and try to do bhajan in the process of Siddha Rabu Nam Das Goswami. His Manasikha, you can read his Manasikha. The explanation of Bhakti Ramana Thakur. You should read and follow the instruction of Rupa Goswami. Tannam Rupa Charitati Sukhittamanu Kamena Rasana Manishi Niyodja Tishthan Bhaje Tadhan Uradi Janan Uradi Kalam Nayed Akilami Upadesha Shah. Rupanath Das Goswami followed. And he saw, she, you saw here, and Raghunath Das Goswami praying, Se Rup Manjari Karachi Tapahad Padma, Gusen Nanandan Bujar Pita Mastikaya Hamodata Kanuk Gaur Padara Binda, Sambana Nishana Kais, Tapahad Kais. Simatis Radhika was lying down, keeping his head, her head, in the laps of Krishna. Krishna was and Rukmanjari was massaging his lotus feet. And quickly, Raghunath Goswami, in the shape of Rukman, um, Rati Manjari, eh? and Rukmanjari called and gave this remnant of our servants to Rup Goswami, um, Rati Manjari. Hmm? How glorious! Hmm? A object a wish, very a strong desire or greed may come to you. Only it comes by this association, not by a regular bhakti, never it will come. So come, try to come in the process of Rupa Goswami and Raghunath Das Goswami. I think that our class is now finished. Only something, instructions for you, how to maintain your life and how to practice all these things. Actually, our Go Govardhan Puja, my classes, and beautiful first time of Srila Raghunath Das Goswami, all you have seen. And try to take and follow it for your whole life. Don't deviate, never. All will be very strong. If you are weak, oh, Remember of Nardas Goswami, Rop Goswami, your Guru Dev, how powerful he was, and you will never deviate. I think you should take it with you in your heart forever. Go, Brahma. Also, I may heartly blessings to Prem Prayajan. Follow, day and night, you should try to follow me. How? I know that all my Brahmachari, like Naveen Krishna, like Pundarik, like others in India, Vriman and all others, all, ek se ek, they are all qualified. So you should try to follow these Brahmacharis. I am proud of them. And I will be proud if you are following them. Then you will be ideal Brahmachari, Sannyasi, Grihastha and Lady Devotees. I have come only to inspire you in the line of Swamiji, in the line of Srila Rupa Swami. Try to follow. Gaur Prama. Blessings to all devotees who have come. I know that you have come from so many parts of the world, even from Europe, even from Australia, from also many parts of America, from Hawaii, from where and there. And I'm proud of this that in seven days or nine days here, I have heard no complaint from any devotee. <laughs> I want to know. I want to know. So I am so proud. So don't become, make any problem for anyone. And you try to give so many dandas, pump sticks to your mind always. 
This is the root of all evils. <laughs> Daily he picks chants. So you should try to control your this horse of mind who is not controlled. You should try to control your mind. Then everything you will be all so happy and you will be good to go. All glory, all glory to Church Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. All glory is to Guru, Guru and, and all devotees of New Gaur Pramana.